In today's version of Inventor, we'll take a little bit more at the dynamic simulation environment. And what we'll do here is actually take a look at uh, some forces that have been applied to this wiper assembly and look how we can use the output grapher after we run a simulation to see what type of uh, motor would be used to, to, uh, to guide these or to have enough power to crank these uh, wiper blades. So this assembly has been kind of preset, but what we can do is actually take a look at uh, uh, if we uh, got this from somebody else and have it color the uh, mobile groups. And what this will do is actually uh, create a separate um, section in here, uh, the mobile groups, and actually uh, show us a couple of the pieces. So one is a welded um, and then the, the arm itself, the other wiper itself, and uh, you can color code those. Uh, which makes it pretty nice. So um, in this welded group right here, um, rather than it being white, uh, I could actually, you know, override it and make it a color blue so that I can uh, easily see that uh, the different mobile groups in here are colored uh, associatively. So like I said, this assembly has been uh, fully constrained and I actually have added some forces on here um, as well. So if we take a look at the force that has been applied, we can take a look that it's associative load direction, so it'll follow it. Um, and then I use the input grapher. So you can see we put a, a force of uh, 5 newtons on either side uh, of this, so it follows um, a slope and a, a linear ramp. Um, and so you can see the time or the slope that it'll apply um, the force against those wiper blades. Um, so with that, we do have our forces uh, applied. Um, the next thing we're going to do is actually add a um, the the uh, crank assembly, uh, so it actually will move itself, and and those forces will be applied. So we're actually going to go over here and edit the imposed motion, um, enable it, um, add some velocity to this, and we'll do at uh, 180 degrees um, per second. And then the next thing we can do is actually go ahead and, and bump this up uh, to two seconds and then change our images as well and run this assembly. And now the nice thing about that is, is if you see it run, you can see the arrows of the um, force that's being put on there uh, as well. So it gives you a graphical output of um, you know how the forces are being uh, applied um, you know to the assembly as it's being run. The other part to note here is um, you know, it's you can see the graph and the output grapher shows us uh, what has happened here, and as expected, you know, it ramps up and ramps down um, based on the uh, you know movement back and forth and the forces that are applied or the friction applied on the wipers itself. So the nice part about you know being able to uh, find the highest or the peak value of what we would need to drive this assembly is to actually just come over here over our imposed um, driving force and go ahead and do a, a search max and what it'll do is highlight the maximum amount of what I would need to drive this assembly so the nice part of it is it highlights it on my um, output grapher notice I'm using my scroll wheel with my mouse I can zoom in and out and the graph automatically um, changes uh, dynamically um, I can move that as well to different points um, I can go ahead and uh, again pick the highest um, value to send it back and another thing to note is if I move this out of the way a little bit um, notice that the um, actual simulation goes to that point as well so if I were to go select a different point notice that it, it switches or it moves um, appropriately to where it is uh, that I pick on the graph itself. I can do that either by selecting there or double clicking on the input graph to move that along. So uh, a couple of things that you can use in dynamic simulation um, to hopefully navigate your way around um, a little bit easier um, and this kind of ties into uh, last week's episode where we talked about uh, using some traces uh, to create a cam. So a little bit more dynamic simulation stuff for you this week and I hope that helps you out.